another episode of Level Up, where we help you work with the clients you love and build and grow your dream at practice. Today's question comes from Kristen Moore. And Kristen asks us, what's the best way to optimize your schedule when structuring intakes, individual sessions, and groups? And I love this question. Kristen, you are a therapist after our own heart. We're really talking about looking at lifestyle business. So before we dive in, we just wanted to say thank you to our sponsor. Yes, thank you so much to Therapy Notes for sponsoring this series. If you're in need of an awesome EHR plus telehealth platform, definitely check them out. Go to therapynotes.com and use the code PPS for your two, first two months for free. Kate's a little tongue-tied today. I am (laughs) (laughs) tongue-tied. So this is a really great question and it really talks about optimization. And I love the fact that you're kind of like stepping back and really looking at your schedule from a macro level. Um, Kate was like really excited. So I'm going to kind of let her take this first and then pipe in a little bit after. Yeah, we always chat a little bit before we hit the record button to see um, what the questions are and what we're going to say. And Chris and I love your question because it really does invite you to take a step back and think about, okay, what is my ideal schedule? What is the type of business that's really going to work for me? And what do I want? How can I be intentional about setting that up? So thinking about your family schedule, your your lifestyle, um, whether you travel a lot or whether you only want to work certain types of times of day or certain days of the week, you want to get clear on that first. So that way it really works for you and you love the business that you have. And if your clients want to see you bad enough, they're going to make it work they're definitely going to make it work. I can remember a time where I thought that I had to see uh, couples during the evenings and I did for many, 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 many years. And then when my first son was born, that was over five years ago, I decided to change my schedule and I dropped my evening so I could be home with my family. And guess what? I didn't lose any clients. So that was a really eye opening experience for me realizing that I don't have to be a slave to the business. I don't have to, you know, work my lifestyle around what works for my clients, my clients will see me during the time that I am available. So I just share that little story for you uh, just to let you know that it definitely works and to encourage you to really get clear and intentional about setting your schedule and figuring out what that is. And then thinking about the energy that you experience in your work with clients. If you work with certain clients that are more energizing, awesome. You can probably see more of those on a certain type of day. If you work with other clients that maybe it's a little bit heavier or maybe you're doing intense trauma work or meeting with people who are struggling with depression and that feels a little bit uh, heavier. And so you could be intentional about scheduling some spacing between sessions or um, scheduling the different types of sessions that you have. Maybe um, you're looking at your schedule and really wanting to optimize things and you only see individuals on a certain day and you see your sweet spot. You know that you can see up to four or five clients and you're good to go. Or maybe you only like to see three clients a day and that's okay too. You know, so thinking about your intakes and how long that takes you looking at optimizing the schedule and then looking at the types of clients that you have um, and really setting up a schedule that works for you. I think you said most of it. I don't know that I have. There you have it. (laughs) That's great. I guess the only thing that I would add, right, is like, also understanding your client, right? So for example, like if you work with kids or teens and maybe you are either a group practice or maybe your long-term vision is to grow into a group practice, you know, what's most feasible for them in the sense of maybe you do all your intakes on um, Wednesday and Thursday, like right after school hours, or maybe it's later in the evening so the parents can get there because maybe it's a very in-depth intake where you need both the parents and the child. So really just kind of understanding all of that aspect and also kind of where you're going. But the beauty is, it's your business. You can change it at any time. Um, it's flexible and you can be as creative as you want. But thank you so much for this question because it's, we do talk about lifestyle business, but I don't think that we talk enough about that. So I really am happy that you're looking at that and also inspiring others to think about this a little bit better. So hopefully that was a helpful answer for you. Um, and for those of you who do have questions for us, look for the Ask Us post Um, on Tuesdays in our Facebook group. We'll go ahead and answer you there and also probably make a video out of it. So thank you guys so much. Yep. Thank you guys and keep at it. You guys got this. We're here to support you, cheering you on every step of the way.